Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can compare presentations in PowerPoint to view and accept or reject changes between the copies. While PowerPoint lacks the track changes feature that Word has, it can still let you compare changes between two versions of a presentation. This is helpful for users who lack the collaborative features of SharePoint or OneDrive or just want to review changes with users on a local network. To compare copies of a presentation in PowerPoint, first save an original copy of the presentation to your computer. Then save another reviewing copy of the presentation to a shared location to which the other reviewers have access. They can then make their reviewing changes in this second copy. After they finish, you can then merge the changes from the second reviewing copy back into the original copy to then accept or reject the changes as needed. To then compare and merge the two presentations in PowerPoint, open the original copy of the presentation. Then click the Review tab in the ribbon. Then click the Compare button in the Compare button group to open a Choose File to Merge with Current Presentation dialog box. Use this dialog box to navigate to and then select the reviewing copy of the presentation. Then click the Merge button in the dialog box. At that point, the Revisions task pane opens in the original presentation and shows all the comments and changes made by the reviewers. You can click the Slides title at the top of the Revisions pane to see changes to the currently selected slide as a thumbnail with a drop-down arrow to its right. Alternatively, you can click the Details title at the top of the pane to see both comments and changes to the slide in the Slide Changes section of this pane and Presentation Changes under the Presentation Changes section. Note that while you can see reviewer comments as changes in the Revisions pane, you must still manage comments separately within the Comments pane as previously discussed. To review and select the changes in the slides, click the Previous and Next buttons in the Compare button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. Alternatively, click the Change icon in the Slide or Slide Thumbnails pane as needed. To accept a selected change, either click the checkbox that appears next to the selected change in the presentation, or click the Accept button in the Compare button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. In PowerPoint, only accepted changes are added to the presentation. However, after you accept a change, to reject it if you change your mind. Click the Reject button in the Compare button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. Alternatively, to accept all changes or reject all changes in a slide or a presentation, click the drop-down button under the Accept or Reject button in the Compare button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. Then select either the Accept or Reject all changes to this slide or Accept or Reject all changes to this presentation command as needed. Alternatively, to accept or reject all slide changes by a reviewer, select the slide with the changes in the presentation. Then click the Slides title at the top of the Revisions pane if needed. Then click the thin drop-down arrow to the right of the slide thumbnail and select the Accept Changes by this reviewer or Reject Changes by this reviewer command as needed. To end the review and apply any accepted changes to the original presentation, click the End Review button in the Compare button group on the Review tab of the ribbon. Then click Yes in the confirmation message box that appears. When you end the review, you apply the accepted changes and discard the unaccepted and rejected changes. After finishing the review, then make sure to save the presentation. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.